For those of you that have been watching my video blogs or listening to any of my podcasts, you know that I have talked a lot about the belief that some students have that they can't do math or they don't ever want to do math. And it's something that I believe that we as teachers really need to focus on. However, there is a new initiative that has come out through Amazon Education and 10 Marks Math Software, and it's called With Math I Can. It's for schools, teachers, parents, families to change your mindset about math. We want students to have a growth mindset that values learning over just trying to look smart. And by having a growth mindset, it can lead to success. People with a growth mindset embrace challenges, persist when facing obstacles, see effort as necessary, can learn from criticism, and are inspired by others' success. This initiative was shared with the math teachers within the Chelmsford Public Schools, that's my district. Let's take a moment and first learn about what some of these teachers' reactions were when first hearing about the With Math I Can campaign. Um, I got really excited to show my students and to use this and implement this in the classroom. I use this in my everyday life, a positive mindset. The power of positive thinking is what my mom always used to say. So I try to come into class every day with a positive mindset so that my students feel that as well. Well, I had first heard about um, mindset, positive mindset, uh, in a course that I took. And basically, it was really um, interesting as a teacher that if you have a positive mindset um, and you kind of portray that every day in the classroom, that it really rubs off on the kids. Um, our first impression when, we, when I went on the website and started looking around, the growth mindset really um, hit home because it's some of the things that we talk about in the classroom, my teaching partner and I, all the time with our kids. Um, we talk about, you know, your comfort zone is here, and in order to grow, you really have to be outside your comfort zone. And what does that look like? And that means that you're doing things and trying new strategies and problems that are really challenging for you and kind of set you apart um, and that are uncomfortable for you. I thought it was a great initiative because every year in my classroom I see so many kids that feel like they're stuck, they feel like they can't do math and nothing's going to change that. They, they have a fixed mindset and they will never change. It is clear that the math teachers within the Chelmsford Public Schools are excited about growth mindset and the With Math I Can initiative. After watching the inspirational video and reading about growth mindset, I asked them to share this with their students. Here are some of the teachers' experiences about having the right mindset when learning mathematics after sharing it with their students in the class. They got really motivated to you know, try new things and try to have that positive mindset because they do come in some days and they do say, I can't do math or I don't like math. And so they really got excited to see other students feeling that way, but changing their outlook on math itself. Well, I think the first impression was that they thought it was a little sad. Um, but then when it kind of switched over to the positive side, um, we started talking about trying things that you've never done, like skydiving or um, doing a headstand, kids talked about like just, you know, kind of putting themselves out there and not worrying about feeling bad. It fit right in with what um, my teaching partner and I teach and talk about the kids every day. Um, really just being passionate about something that you do and going after it and not going in with the mindset that you're behind the eight ball before you start, that you are able to kind of conquer anything that you put your mind to. Um, and it's really about the steps that you take and the plan that's involved um, in preparing and kind of moving forward and pushing yourself again out of your comfort zone. Well, as, as usual, most high school kids are skeptical at first. So a lot of kids said that they were kind of like, ah, they weren't really feeling it the first minute or so, but then they, they saw the point after a while and they saw like, wow, that's me. Like, I feel like sometimes I have a fixed mindset. I can't grow. I can't 
change and you need to have a growth mindset where you can improve, you know, like a muscle at the gym. And it, I think it really hit home with a lot of kids after a while. To achieve a growth mindset, we must commit to the following. We will celebrate our mistakes as opportunities to learn and grow. We will be confident and share our thinking, and we will persevere through difficult practice. I encourage you to visit the With Math I Can website. If you're a student, a parent, or a teacher, I would like you to please take the pledge to stop saying I'm not good at math and approach math with a growth mindset. We can all work together to change the attitudes of everyone about mathematics and know that with math, we can do anything, 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 anything.